Hi, I'm Mark. This is my November review for Cancer Sunshine and Cancer Rising. We start the month with Mercury making uh, two aspects. The first is to uh, Jupiter, and Mercury is in your fourth house. So it's a good time to reorganise things around the home and get planning uh, things and changes you want to make. Uh, keep an open mind because on the second, uh, Mercury makes uh, an aspect to uh, Pluto. And this is always a time to uh, let things happen and not to force things through. On the 4th we have a new moon. Now the new moon for you Cancer is in Scorpio, your fellow water sign, and your 5th house. So this ensures that over the next month there will be lots of happiness, lots of socialising, um, there will be time for using your creative side and uh, generally having a good month. Uh, now there's only one little uh, thing that we need to be aware of is that the new moon is opposite to Uranus. Uranus is in your 11th house of friends so there could be some surprises or some emotional uh, drama where friends are concerned. So it may be if you've got social plans that at uh, one point or another you may have to change them suddenly because something that's happened uh, with your one of your friends. There's a lot of changes around the fifth because Venus uh, moves into uh, Capricorn in your seventh house, makes a sextile to Mercury who then moves into Scorpio in your fifth house. So this means that you can uh, now meet people or connect with people that can aid your ambition um, and they can help you get where you want to be. It's also a very creative time, um, time to use your uh, imagination, time to use your uh, depth of personality to, to allow some of that deeper feeling to come out in a creative, uh, expressive way. I know we said with the new moon you'd have uh, uh, a great month of lots of socialising and very creative, but uh, between the 9th and 13th this may not be uh, the case. There may be some hold-ups, some blockages, um, so you need to proceed slowly over this period. Um, Mars is in your fifth house, makes a square to Saturn. Now this is like um, trying to uh, drive a car with a handbrake on it, it won't go. Uh, as fast as you want, it may move very slowly. And this is what you need to do, proceed with caution. There's some kind of blockage that you need to remove to free up your creative side. Uh, you may not be uh, willing to communicate with people over this area because um, Mercury is involved as well. Mercury makes a conjunction with Mars and then also makes a square to Saturn. So uh, difficult period, um, allow things to happen and try and free that blockage. On the 12th we have a very uh, spiritual day. Um, we have the Sun in your 5th house making a positive aspect to uh, Neptune who is in the ninth house. This is a day where you'll be um, inquiring into or wanting to learn things of a higher spiritual nature. And this could be a day when um, you discover some things that will change your beliefs in some way. Then on the 13th we have uh, Mercury opposite uh, uh, Uranus. Now this is a and a day when your mind would be buzzing, it would be hard to sleep, hard to concentrate because there would be so many things flashing through your mind um, that it will make it uh, a little bit crazy. On the 14th, uh, Venus is in your 7th house, makes a square to Chiron, the healing plant. So this is a good opportunity to heal any uh, awkward relationship wounds from the past. Then on the uh, 15th, we have uh, the Sun making a square to Jupiter and this um, can be very advantageous for you because the Sun is in that fifth house of creativity. This is a time when you can turn your creative ideas into, into something that may make you some uh, financial gains. Also, it's a very buoyant, op opportunistic uh, aspect that will uh, give you uh, a boost of confidence. On the 16th, we have another difficult aspect from uh, Mars. This time, it's in opposition to Uranus, who's in your 11th house of friends. So this is a time when you may feel that um, someone's been holding you back, a friend or a colleague uh, that you need to uh, separate from in some way. Um, and if you liberate yourself, it may mean that you are then heading in a new direction completely. Or you could suddenly explode and there is one almighty uh, row that breaks out. But with the Sun making an aspect of Pluto's in your uh, seventh house, this is a good time to sit down and clear the air and clear house, so to speak, and get things uh, out in the open so it can be discussed and then things can be 
uh, settled down. Also on the 16th we have the final contact uh, between Saturn and uh, Chiron. This sextile has been going on all year. The first contact was in February, we had more contact in June and now uh, we're coming in all for the final contact on the 26th of November and then the aspect will pass. So it's a good chance to, uh, to learn the lesson which is to trust your own inner authority, to listen to your inner voice. Now there may have been problems, we've all faced problems over the last year um, and there may be some decisions that authority figures have made uh, that affected your life that you may not understand or agree with but now is the time to to learn about this, to understand this and let it pass and let go of it so that you can move on um, in the future trusting in your own uh, voice and your own authority. On the 18th we have two trines which will make for a very creative exciting day. Um, the first is between uh, Mercury and uh, Neptune. This will spark your imagination. This will let the creative juices flow. And then we have an aspect between uh, Venus and Uranus and this will spark interaction with your friends and colleagues and this can uh, come up with new ideas and new things that you can try moving forward. On the 19th we have a full moon lunar eclipse in Taurus. Now this uh, is in your 11th house so humanitarian issues could be uh, brought up now. You may be very interested in them or you may be asked to do something to help a friend or someone with this in the 11th house. Now this eclipse uh, belongs to the Saros 5 South series and it is renowned for bringing joy and happiness, good news, uh, favourable events. So these will continue long after this uh, day. Um, now the other thing you need to do is to look at your dreams, your hopes and goals for the future. And there may be time now to make adjustments, um, set new ones that are more in keeping with who you are now. And with the uh, full moon being in Taurus, it's time to connect with the earth. It's time to do some walking in the forest or uh, gardening or something that brings you that connection with the earth. On the 20th, you'll feel very optimistic and upbeat with the aspect between Mercury and Jupiter. And it starts the day um, with a 12 day aspect between Venus and uh, Mars. Now, Venus is in your uh, seventh house, this is a positive aspect to Mars in the fifth house of, of love and love affairs. So, this is a great time to meet new people if you're not in a relationship. If you are in a relationship, it's a good time to get balance within that relationship and to take it to uh, the next step. With the Mars creativity, um, and the love of Venus, this can be a fantastic 12 days. We have a lot of solar activity uh, between the 22nd and the 27th. As the Sun first of all moves into uh, Sagittarius, which is your sixth house, but then makes a, a conjunction with not only the Moon South node, but with Mercury as well. So it's a very active five days. Um, this is a time when opportunities will be boundless. You need to just be aware, be open and be observant, ready to take these opportunities. There will be an unfolding of synchronistic events that will uh, lead you, guide you towards the North Node. Now the South Node in your Sixth House means that you can use your talents, use your skills, um, put them to good use and uh, this will point you towards the North Node. Now the South Node is our, our past and our familiarity um, but the North Node is where you need to go and this is unfamiliar territory. So there's sort of things that come up that uh, you feel, oh that's a bit uh, difficult or that's a bit challenging then that's the way you need to go. If you're getting bored with the daily routines and the regimented side of your life then it is time to break free. To finish the month we have two very positive minor grand trines. The first on the 29th uh, is in water, it's a trine between uh, Mars and uh, Neptune. So this is a very creative grand trine. This is an asset that's coming to you um, and it's uh, sextiled by Venus, both aspects sextile, um, which makes a triangle. Um, and this gives creative expression to that, uh, that trine. Um, so this is great for your creativity. The other one on the 30th is more to do with your work and career or your public standing, your daily routines because we have the Sun um, making an aspect to Chiron 
and these are sextiled by Saturn. So there's there's organisation and a structure with this one, and and the fire trine will um, get you fired up so that you'll want to do things, you'll want to get things moving, to get things started. So whatever happened last week with the uh, south node and whatever uh, you came up with, now's the time to uh, put these things into action. Thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the review. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. If you'd like to leave me a comment, I'd be glad to hear from you.